Hi. So today I would like to talk to you about why you should train your dog to become a therapy animal. Why is it a good idea? Well, most people today deal with depression and anxiety or some form of mental illness. And, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, it can be really hard to cope and get through. So not everybody can handle the traditional treatments for mental illness, like medication or going to see a therapist. So that's why I personally think that therapy dogs would make a great tool for anybody who's dealing with mental illness or therapy. And you know what? It doesn't even have to be a dog most of the time. There are other types of therapy animals too, but today I'd like to talk about dogs. So I'd like to discuss the benefits of training a dog to become a therapy animal. People with anxiety and depression suffer on a day-to-day -day basis. It's hard for people who have these things to deal with regular everyday, to, everyday functions to complete tasks that you need to do every single day. Um, and having anxiety and depression can make you often feel alone, like this lady right here. It's hard for you to survive to the next moment not knowing what to do. That's why I think therapy dogs would be a great tool for anybody who has an emotional problem like their with like anxiety or depression. So I would like to talk about why people would need a therapy dog. So imagine this. Imagine being at home and then all of a sudden you're struck with a paralyzing fear, anxiety comes out of nowhere and you just don't know what you're gonna do or how you're gonna survive to the next moment. Your heart starts to race, you get really nervous, you feel like you're going to have a heart attack because your heart won't stop racing and you just don't know what to do. But imagine having someone there to hold your hand to help you get through to the next moment. That's why therapy dogs can be so amazing. They can help you feel comfort and help you feel relaxed and give you a state of well-being that you know what, you're not in this alone. You have that little furry companion to hold your hand to help you get through to the next moment. Most people don't realize how amazing therapy dogs really are. They're amazing animals and that they can save lives and help anybody who's dealing with mental illness. They can help you with your crippling anxiety, your crippling depression, to make you feel like you're not alone. As I mentioned before, they're there to hold your hand, to help you get through to the next moment. So, I would also like to talk about how the benefits of a therapy dog doesn't just have to be for the person that the therapy dog is paired with. The benefits of therapy dogs can also be rewarding to other people in the world. Oftentimes I hear about how therapy dogs go to visit schools. I myself remember when I was younger that a therapy dog came to visit my school and I found it to be a wonderful experience. Kids who are starting new schools or little kids or even teenagers are faced with challenges of learning new things. They may be nervous, trying to make friends, trying to fit into the right social groups. You know, Alliance of, Do of Therapy Dogs said in 2017 that there are four main benefits of having a therapy dog in the classroom. Physical, social, cognitive, along with emotional benefits. 8 to 10% of teenagers ages 13 to 18 have an anxiety disorder. That's a lot. And a therapy dog in the classroom can be a total game changer to help these kids deal with these day-to-day -day struggles. Also, people who are in hospitals, who are battling illness, or you know, kids in the children's hospitals who are going through these big scary changes in their life, who you know, sadly might have cancer or her having to go through these big scary operations and, you know, having a therapy dog come to visit a hospital and to come visit these patients can just ease their mind and make them feel calm and maybe take their mind off of the things that they're going through. Also, 
I would like to mention that therapy dogs don't necessarily always need to go visit hospitals or go visit children in, in, at school. Sometimes there are tragic events that happen all around, like sadly there's been school shootings or you know, we can all think back to 9-11 and that was a terrible time and many people were dealing with trying to get through those tough moments. So there are groups and organizations out there that do train therapy dogs that go around to public places such as a place where a tragic event has happened to help ease the minds of the people who are going through that traumatizing situation. All in all, Therapy dogs are simply amazing and can help anybody. So, um, I would also like to talk to you about um, how how do you train a therapy dog? Because that's what we're talking about, right? You should you, like. I would like to convince you to go out and train your dog to be a therapy dog. I think it's a great idea. So now that I've talked to you about the benefits of therapy dogs and who and how they can help people, let's talk about how do you train the therapy dog? How do you know which dog is the right dog? Can any dog be a therapy dog? Well, first of all, finding the right dog to be a therapy dog does not have to be too difficult. Not every dog will work for a therapy dog though. The main thing is uh, the dog has to be able to complete specific tasks, has to be able to maintain its composure out in public. The AKC says um, uh, in Ken, uh, Karen Tnick uh, of 2019 also says that the dogs must be able to pass a canine good citizen test for obedience. That's the main thing. If the dog can pass an obedience test, then it should be able to go through the rest of the training to become a therapy animal. If you're dedicated to spending the correct amount of time, uh, be with your dog all the time, put in the work, it will totally pay off in the end and it will be so rewarding. So now that we've covered the many benefits of a therapy dog and who and how they can help, I would like to briefly go over what we have discussed today. So therapy dogs are a wonderful tool to help not only children, not only the patients, not only their handlers, but everybody. Therapy dogs just bring joy. They're furry little companions that bring a smile to almost everybody's face who comes in contact with them. People facing challenges every day with mental illness are often, they often feel alone when they're dealing with anxiety and depression. And you know what? Therapy dogs can bring a smile to anybody's face. So I would like to leave you with this thought. If you've ever seen a therapy dog out in public or if you've ever had the pleasure of meeting a therapy dog and how I would like you to think about how has that dog impacted your life or how do you think that dog has impacted others' lives? Therapy dogs are amazing. They can be a great tool. So consider training your dog to be a therapy dog and not only helping you to get through the tough things that you go through on a day-to-day -day basis, but to also help other people. Thank you so much for listening to me today and I hope you all have a wonderful day.